All right, this is the final individual piece here. This is called the Pimmel Slide. Um, some people find this the most difficult to make. I don't think it's that difficult um, compared to the Pimmel Slide or the Crayon Ball. I think those are a little bit more difficult, but uh, some people thought this was the hardest, so that's why I saved it for the last. But we'll see what you guys think. This is the finished product. It's a Tunnel Slide. Uh, we used to call it Tornado Slide when I was in elementary school. This is the final piece. So go to iPro, new, standard.ipt, and we're going to make this on the X and Y plane. But we're going to make this with lines and circles. So first thing we're going to do, and I've kind of changed up what the directions had to make it a little bit easier, uh, because they had you changing lines with the center line, the construction lines. It's not something you're going to do a whole lot in here. Uh, maybe in high school you would. You can learn about that today. Select line tool, draw a line straight up 24 inches. Yep, 24 inches. Okay, look at my sheet there for a second. And we're going to hit escape because we got to draw a line down here at the bottom that is 18 inches. Although they don't want this to have a dimension, so we basically dimension at 18 and then delete the dimension can't delete the line later if you have the dimensions attached to it. So you're going to make it 18 inches and then delete it. And then I'm going to move this over like we did in the last video. So you end up with something like this right here. Now from the end of that 18 inch line, you're going to make two circles. One 24 inches and one 22 inches. I would have the dotted arrow going the opposite way so your lines are on top of each other there. I you know, like how I did that. And it's not required. Alright, you're going to hit escape or right click and hit OK. Now, what we want to do is we want to dimension the outside of this circle, the 24 inch circle, to the center line. And we're going to dimension that 26 inches. Now, we're going to draw a reference line through the middle of the circle. It doesn't have to be dimensioned. It just has to come all the way through the two circles. Okay. Right click and hit OK or Escape. So you end up with something like this right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to trim a lot of this out. We're going to click on Trim. And we're going to cut the outside top half of this circle outside top half of this circle. And remember these white lines are just dimension lines. They're not actually there. We're going to trim this outside piece of the line you just drew through there. We're going to trim the middle section here. And we're going to trim the middle section here. This should stay closed and this should stay closed. And you can see those lines connect there to close that out. And they connect there to close that out. So when you're trimming, don't trim out these little lines right here. Do not. All right, and that's all the trimming you have to do. We finish the sketch. We're going to select Coil, which is over here a couple from Extrude. This turns blue, you're okay. It means this shape is closed. So now it automatically picked the profile. That's what this blue part is. Now it wants to know what axis. Just like we did with the Revolve, we have to pick the axis. We're going to revolve it around this axis right here. Okay? You can't really tell right now because there's only one revolution, but this is going up. We want to spin down. So hit the red and black arrow to spin down. And then at the top here, we're going to switch over to coil size. And under type, we're going to change to revolution and height, the second option there. The height of this is going to be. 120 inches, 10 feet up in the air. And we're going to revolve three times. Okay, hit OK. And you end up with something like that right there. Now, if you want to color everything, highlight it, change your color up here, you're left with something like this. I'm going to save this as I had to move this over to the pegboard earlier, so I'm going to put it back in the playground. This playground, or open the playground folder and put it in if it's not already. And you're going to call this spiral slide. S P I R A L, spiral slide. 
we'll end up with all 15 pieces complete and we'll be ready to start putting those together on Thursday on Monday.